What's up everybody? Yeah, I need a haircut. Russ with RWG Research here. Uh, sorry about the noise in the background. It's a fan running. It's hot down here. I wanted to show you guys how I cut pipe nicely without a lathe or anything. So I got a piece of six inch polycarbonate. I believe it's polycarbonate tube. All right. And uh, I want to cut a 16 inch piece off here. So I grabbed the measuring stick or tape measure. I measured down 16 inches. And then I moved it a little and I marked it. And I moved it a little and I marked it. And I did that all the way around. That gave me a nice square marking on my on my tube. Which you can't even see, can you? Oh yeah. Er, there you go. So I marked it. And then when I got done, I just took the tape measure, which you can use like a piece of string, wrapped it real tight, and then drew a line. Okay. Now what I've ended up with is a nice straight line all the way around. See that? Now what I'm going to do, I really should use a hacksaw, but I have this little jiggy that I, I like, but I'm sure a hacksaw would be a lot easier, um, which I may have to go grab. And basically, you're just going to start cutting real lightly all the way around. You're going to cut and turn, cut and turn, cut and turn, cut and turn until you get all the way around. And that way you know you've cut square on your piece of pipe. Because if you try to just cut straight through, you'll never get it square, I promise. I don't care how good you are. But I'm using a handsaw. If I had like a bandsaw or something, it would be fantastic. Fortunately, I don't. So, my trash can's a little full here. Let's see if I'm gonna need. I'm probably gonna go get. I'm gonna go. Gonna need to go get my hacksaw. There's just no ifs, ands, and buts about it. Here. Well, let's try it. Alright, now you can see what I've got is I just cut the edge and turned it. And that gives me a, a, a good path to run my blade in. Now as I go around I actually cut it all the way through. Right. Okay. After a little sweat and tears there, hacksaw would have been a lot better. Oh, okay. So now that I got it that far, I wipe all the sweat off of it. Now I did uh, turn this as I cut it. Okay, so I, I turned it as I cut it. I kept doing that. Now I'm going to take my pocket knife, which if you got a different type of tool, that'd be better, but a pocket knife, razor blade, and cut this edge off where you can see it looks like poo-poo. Let's do that real quick. Oh, I gotta go get my knife. All right. Supposed to cut away from yourself. I'm gonna cut towards myself. Because that's how I usually do it. But if you cut away from yourself, you won't get hurt. As bad. Okay, 
Sometimes you can use the, the edge of your knife. So by using the edge, the side of your knife, this way, it works really well. So let's see what we got. Try to knock all these loose shavings off here. Alright, so here's the factory edge, if I can get it focused. There's the factory edge, and here's the edge we just cut. You can see I, I slipped off here and there, a couple spots where my, my blade bent on my saw. That's pretty good. Nice and square all the way around. And uh, you, can't, you can't really get much squarer that, than, than that with a hand saw. Trust me. Look how square that is. Try try doing that with a handsaw. It ain't easy on a six inch pipe. So there you go. I do recommend that if you try doing this and you get down to the last part, uh, the last part, don't cut it uh, or don't try to break it. Okay, try to cut all the way through it because this is polycarbonate. It kind of kind of gives me some some luck but if you're using uh, acrylic or something like that be very careful lay it on a really flat surface and make sure you take your time with it polycarbonate kind of give and flex but you'll shatter this stuff if you're not careful especially when you're working with uh, PVC or acrylic or anything like that so that's it Russ with RWGResearch.com I wasn't gonna film this but I thought I'm sure it will help somebody and now I'm going to go take a shower. I'm telling you, it's hot. That looks good. And in case you're wondering what this is for, this is my hopper that I'm going to be using for my filament extruder that I just built. It. I just built. See the uh, link in the description. All right. Peace and love, you guys. Have a good day. Subscribe if you haven't. See ya.